Hey, welcome to our episode of Tuesday Night Beer School with me, Chad of Chad's Beer Reviews, and... Christina. So we, our last episode, we did the Milk Stout, and I said, how about we do the Tropical Stout next, because you like the sweet, chocolatey stouts. Love them. That actually don't have any chocolate in them, you know? So we are on style 16C, Tropical Stout. Overall impression, a very dark, sweet, fruity, moderately strong... Stout with smooth, roasty flavors, yet no burnt harshness. Surprisingly refreshing in a hot climate, sweet levels can vary significantly. Tropical implies that the beer originated in and is popular in the tropics. Not that it has characteristics of tropical fruit or hops. Yeah, you're a tropical stout, and I think it's going to be coconutty or something like that. Yeah. Um, So it's actually kind of a spinoff of foreign extra stouts, but we don't have time to go into that. Similar to a sweet stout, but higher gravity. Pale and dark, roasted malts and grains. Hops mostly for bitterness. I don't know what else they would be used for. Oh, aroma, I guess. May use adjuncts and sugar to boost gravity. Okay, so this could have, theoretically, it could have corn or rice in it, but mostly probably just sugar or molasses. Okay. Typically made with warm fermenting lager yeast. Interesting. That's a, you know I think they might ask you that on the test. That's like an interesting factoid, so pay attention to that. Uh, style comparison tastes like a scaled up sweet stout with higher fruitiness which should be perfect because that's what was our last episode yeah similar to some imperial stouts without the high bitterness strong or burnt roastiness or late hops lower alcohol the ones we have are pretty strong much sweeter and less hoppy than American stouts much sweeter and less bitter than the similar gravity for an extra stouts so our uh, vitals we have it's a pretty high high range 5.5 to 8 percent although actually the ones we're drinking are even stronger than that so we have two uh, examples straight from the specs here. So you have Lion Stout. Stout. That's from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Even though, I don't think it says it on the can, but... I think it might. I was actually able to find a fresh bottle of Dragon Stout, which Where's is made... that from? Jamaica. <gasps> wow. <clears throat> Mine's 7.5 ABV, and yours is 8.8. That's quite a difference. Yeah. All right, so let's start with the aroma on the Dragon I'll let you go first, because I've had these beers many times. I mean, it smells like a sweet stout. Um, I'm not really getting, getting any roastiness or anything on this. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to. It's, It does have, like, a sweet smell to it, though. Yeah. It's like a sweet, malty smell. Yeah. I get, like, maybe, like, a kind of a background or hint of, like, milk chocolate. Yeah. It's actually very, very subtle. It has, like, this kind of... Actually, I think it's not chocolate. It's more like vanilla or... Um, there's a certain <clears throat> certain thing I get always get in Dragon Stout that I can't put my finger on. Maybe it's like a black licorice. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, like that. it's kind of like a root beer quality actually. Yeah, or like rum or something. Yeah. All right, let's give the lion a whiff. Lion. Okay, this one, this one seems a little more roasty to me. This or, one is more chocolatey to me. Yeah, it's more like a, to me it's like a dark chocolate, mm-hmm. whereas like the dragon salad is kind of like a milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. Are you getting coffee on this one? A little bit. Yeah, it has like a little bit of roastiness. Yeah, I'll I say think... it's more, there's more aroma than the um, the dragon. Yeah, and I can get a tiny little bit of alcohol on this one. Yeah. But it's yeah. not as, <clears throat> it's not as sweet smelling as the dragon. You don't think so. Not, to me the dragon has like a little bit of spice to it and like, a little vanilla. Yeah, it's and, kind of crazy how much more potent the rum on the yeah. lion is, actually. Yeah, it's kind of like the difference between milk chocolate and dark chocolate, you know? Yeah. So, let's check the specs on aroma. Moderate to high intensity sweetness is prominent. Or it does say moderate. Mm-hmm. Moderate to high coffee or chocolatey, roasty aroma, but not burnt. I agree. None of these are burnt. No. Definitely Medium not. to high fruitiness. You know, I think that's the... There's definitely a fruity character, I think, on the uh, the dragon stout. May have molasses, licorice, burnt sugar, dried fruit, or vinous aromatics. Okay, yeah. I think there's a slight vinous character on the dragon. Like kind of like a red wine or something. Man. Stronger versions can have a subtle clean out aroma of alcohol, low hop aroma optional, low diacetyl optional. Yeah, I'm not getting you remember what diacetyl is? Yeah, it's that lollipop smell or taste, no, right? That's oxidation. Oh, cardboard? Nope. Diacetyl. Butter. Butter. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, I've had it. I mean, there might be like a slight... A little bit. Butteriness on the lion, but... 
I mean, you had to mention it for me to really notice it. So yeah, it does say optional. So I mean, it does. It does they're not penalizing you, and it does say low. Mm-hmm. I'm it not getting hops on on either of these, and I do get like a molasses kind of character licorice. Yeah. As always, when we do these head to head. It's always like one is there for one reason and one is there for another reason, you know? Mm-hmm. For me, they're both... I mean, the style guidelines are written around these two beers, so... I'm not... Like I said, I'm not getting... I didn't get uh, oxidation on either of these, oddly enough. I think that Lion Stout is, like, almost a year old, but... Um, yeah, so as far as score, I am think I was thinking, like, 10 for both. What were you thinking? I'll give Dragon an 8, just because I can barely smell anything. Okay. Um, and the Lion, I'll give a 10. Okay. Oops. Should be 10, not zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Appearance. All right, so when I poured it, obviously they both are very black coming out of the can or the bottle. And they both look... I would say, like, the lion has... I'm getting a little ruby through the... the I'm sorry, you're getting a little ruby through the dragon. But the lion is, like, almost just straight up black. When I hold the lion up to the light, you, it, there's nothing that comes through. Yeah. Versus where if I hold the um, dragon up to the light, I can see through it. You yeah. can see the rubiness. Yeah. So this one is just has no clarity. Yeah. At all. The dragon or the lion. Sorry, I keep getting mixed up. I know. The lion had like a foamier head when I poured it. Yeah. It's could also be because it's a bigger container too, you know. Yeah. So it's like a harder pour. You know? So I don't know. But uh, yeah, I would say they're clear black. And there's still a little bit of foam hanging around. It's interesting because, like, you still have foam hanging around the lion. I still have foam hanging around the dragon. I don't think the lion is clear at all. Hmm. Can't see the light through it. It's like right. murky. Let's check the specs on that. Very deep brown to black in color. Clarity usually obscured by deep color. Clear if not opaque. Hmm. Large tan to brown head with good retention. Uh, yeah, that describes both of them as far They're as I'm there. concerned. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna give full three out of three for both. What do you think? Uh, three out of three. Okay. Both. All right. Well, here's the best part: get a taste. We'll start with the dragon. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Malin. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. This is my first time having this like remotely fresh, and it tastes a lot different. Really. What's your first impression? I mean, there's no sweetness on this at all. Really? I think it's... To me, it's very fruity. Very fruity. I get, like, a little bit of black licorice. I think you get a little bit of that diacetyl they were talking about. Mm-hmm. This one's weird for me. It's kind of like the odor. I'm not really picking up a lot on this one. It has a, a red wine character to it. Are it you does. That? Yeah. It's... And the dryness kind of mm-hmm. reminds me of red wine. I yeah. think it's kind of drying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oddly enough, I'm not getting a chocolatey taste. Like, maybe, like, a little vanilla. But to me, it's very fruity. Yeah. Almost a little, like, like grape. Um, to me, it's kind of, it's very grapey. Mm-hmm. Little, t- tiny little bit of vanilla, tiny little bit of molasses. The vanilla lingers if you hold it on your tongue for a little mm-hmm. bit. You can really kind of taste it. It's kind of a vanilla quality, like, out of the bottle where it's got that strength to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I do... Like extract. There is, like, a little... Yeah, a little bit of... Yeah, like, if you let it linger, you get a little bit of vanilla or a molasses flavor, but it is not... It's not, like, cloying sweet. It's not chocolatey. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the Lion Stout. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know how they say cheers over there, so... Hmm. Mm. This one um, has a little more going on. This Quite one, better. yeah, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say this tastes to me more like a kind of like a traditional American kind of stout. Yeah, it's very roasty. We said that on the nose too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's roasty. It's not burnt, and it has like this kind of lingering licorice or molasses kind of aftertaste. I think it's molasses, but yeah, I mm-hmm. get it at the very end. Um, yeah, this is very roasty to me. Mm-hmm. There's a slight kind of black currant or maybe grape in there are you getting that at all any kind of fruitiness like a dark fruit yeah uh-huh. it's it's there it's very subtle yeah and this one's yeah the, as far as the difference in bitterness mm-hmm. a lion style is i mean it's pretty strong at 8.8 yeah 
I thought the dragon sound is super light. That's seven point five, but I think that one has like just more bitterness to kind of counter the, you know, the big malt character on it. Oh yeah, seven point five. I thought you said point five point seven. <laughs> yeah, this one. I mean, I'm definitely getting a little bit of fruitiness on the lion, but um, like I said on the note, like the the I don't really get like chocolate or vanilla. I like a vanilla, but you have to like let it yeah. sit for a second. Yeah, we get the same thing. Actually, it's kind of like a, a Cracker Jack kind of aftertaste, like a caramel or something. Yeah. I, I think the base on both of these is very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, There's just more the lion is like, yeah, it's, to me, it, like I said, it seemed like an American style, like kind of roasty. There's, I would say it's more, if there is like kind of a confectionery note in there, it's like kind of dark chocolate. Yeah. Not milk chocolate. Yeah. That would contribute to the bitterness. Kind of going back and forth now. But I thought the specs said it wasn't supposed to be like an American stout. Mm -hmm. Well, an American stout would just be like way hoppier. Oh. And this one isn't. I'm not really getting like hops on either. Like you don't get citrus or pine. No. Um, no tropical fruit, obviously. Like maybe, maybe like a little, tiny little bit of earthy or floral hops. But um, yeah, it's like the hops, you don't even like think about them here. Mm -mm. So they're not there at all. Yeah, let's uh, let's check the specs on flavor. Quite sweet with a smooth dark grain flavors. It should just be with smooth dark. You don't need that a. <laughs> That's true. And restrained medium low to medium bitterness. Hmm, medium. Uh, uh, it's not that it's like bitter. It's just like um, roasty. Smooth, roasty flavor, often like coffee or chocolate, although moderated and balanced by the sweet finish. Okay, well, I had that. Remember, I said I thought it would finish sweet. No burnt malt flavors or harsh bite in the finish. Moderate to high fruity esters. Okay, um, dragon fruit. Dragon definitely has the kind of moderate to high fruity esters. Can have a sweet, dark rum, molasses, or burnt sugar like quality. Yep. Low hop flavor optional, medium low diacetyl optional. Um, yeah, it's interesting it says sweet finish. Um, I mean, I, I don't think either of these have a sweet finish. You think they finish sweet? I think they finish pretty bitter. The dragon has a kind of fruity aftertaste, so I could kind of see the sweet finish on that one. More so than the lion. I mean, yeah, comparatively. Yeah. Also, that that can of lion is like probably a year old, so maybe if it, it's funny because like this is actually fairly fresh, and that one's fairly old. Which is usually backwards. Usually, like if you go to the beer museum down the road, yeah, this, like the freshest bottle they have of this expired like in February it's or something. It's kind of weird though, because the lion isn't hard to get. Like it's all over, so it's yeah. weird that it's old. All right, I might have been just sitting in the fridge for a long time. <laughs> Maybe. Um, it's gonna be tough to score. Yeah. Um, let me bring up the specs here. All right, so for the lion, I don't know. I think it was kind of lacking on the sweet finish. But otherwise, it was there. I'm going to say 15. Whoops. I'm going to go low on this one because I'm not. I'm just not getting much of that at all. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this one a 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Whoops. Sorry, I went too far. Uh, dragon. We did this backwards. Oh. Dragon's right there, too. Um, I'm going to give this one a 16. I'll go slightly higher, 15. 15? Yeah. All right. Feel. Yeah, let's talk about mouthfeel. You would think that both of these would be super thick. Okay, you want a little more? Yeah. I think the mouthfeel feels fuller on the lion, but that just because could be mm -hmm. because it's higher ABV, maybe? Yeah. I would think, like, you. I go into this thinking it's going to be kind of like a Guinness or I know. a Bourbon County or something. And it's not. It's a, uh, I mean, it's definitely got some heft to it. Mm-hmm. It's certainly no Bud Light or anything, but... It tastes like medium full. Yeah. I would say both of them, yeah, they're probably about medium full. Mm -hmm. They're smooth. Carbonation, probably about moderate. Yeah. Um, it's also weird, because, like, this is my first time drinking them, this out of, like, these little sampler cups. And it's, like, it's... I swear, like, the mouthfeel is different just depending on the glassware. Like, if I was drinking, like, a full... You know, sixteen ounce pint glass of either of these. Yeah. Like it would just seem fuller and thicker, and but um, and the little 
you know, four ounce taster glasses, they seem like a little thinner. Yeah, because you take smaller sips, little baby sips. Yeah. Um, I don't get alcohol in either of these, though. A slight on the lion yeah, at the very end. Faint. I mean, it's really clean. Yeah. Both are really smooth. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Um, the drinkability on it is really nice. It's funny, as it's warming up, that dragon is just getting all fruity. Fruitier mm-hmm. and fruitier, yeah. All right, let's check the specs for mouthfeel. Medium, full to full body. Okay, often with a smooth, creamy character. No, I wouldn't go as far as to say creamy, but yeah, smooth. May have a warming but not hot alcohol presence. Moderate to moderately high carbonation. Uh. I mean, medium, full to full body with smooth. Mm-hmm. I think they both get there. They mean moderate it. to moderately high carbonation. Yeah, that's odd because like, um, usually like the heavier, the stronger the beer, the lower the carbonation. But this one is it's kind of like a Belgian beer where it's like it's both a f- big body and high carbonation. So it's one of those kind of weird beers as far as that goes. Yeah. So, I mean, they're both right there. Um, I'll do a five I, on both. Yeah, I would, I was, that's what I was about to say. I was about to give a five on both. All right, overall for the Dragon, for me, it's my first time having this fresh. It's, it's interesting. It's very fruity. I kind of prefer like a little bit more chocolate, although I dig that kind of molasses or vanilla kind of thing going on mm-hmm. there. I wish the mouthfeel was like a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, it's it's right there. I'm going to go 8 out of 10. It's 42. What do you think? I think it's boring. I'm going to do um, a <laughs> 6. Well, it's not about... It, whoops. Sorry, I should have been doing this. Should we start over? Um, no. Nah. So you're going to give it a, a 6 out of 10? Yeah, my average is a 6. Okay, I mean, 37. it's boring. It doesn't really meet specs for me. It's just not hitting it. It's up to an average of 39 and a half. Yeah. yeah, if this was a competition, we got to. <laughs> we I could to probably, meet. I'd probably drop the aroma down a, a point, and I think that would be good. Maybe you have to come up a little on something. Um, I feel like eight. I think you were pretty harsh on the aroma. I just, don't, I'm not getting much aroma. Period. Really? It's hard to pick up for me. Yeah. Um, the lion. I'm also gonna give this an eight. I'll give that one an eight. All right, forty-one thirty-nine. So very close. Mm-hmm. The difference between thirty-nine and a half versus forty. But, you know, I've had both these beers. Like I said, I've had both many times. I do prefer the Lion. But now that I'm having the Dragon Fresh, kind of wish I bought the whole six-pack and just one, instead of just one bottle. Yeah. Which is weird. This is like the really odd bottle size. It's like seven, 9.6 ounces in 284 milliliter. Like it's on like an even number of on either system. Mm-hmm. Whereas like the Lion Stout is like a full 500 mil can. Yeah, 500 mil. 16.9 ounces so you get like almost well, almost double the the beer in that can that's true so and it's stronger <laughs> what did you learn today <laughs> um there's something i was supposed to learn for the test something about lager yes um <laughs> the way that it's fermented and the temperature But I can't remember what it said. Typically, Typically made with warm fermented ye- lager yeast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a handful. And also that diacetyl is a, a buttery kind of smell and flavor. And not necessarily a bad thing for yeah. this, this this type of beer. Yeah. It said low optional. Mm-hmm. But actually would help sweeten it up a little. It might add some character. I don't yeah. know. A lot, if we are getting to like real British beers, like you'll be able to taste it then. Yeah. But they're really hard to find around here. Not even like Dunderbox has right, them. That sounds so. good. Cheers. Run a stout kick. Cheers. <laughs> Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 